Hello, this is Dr. David Green, CEO of the U.S. Fertility Network. Today's topic is an overview of artificial insemination. The purpose of an artificial insemination is to assist a couple to become pregnant by helping the sperm enter the woman's egg. Now, I say couple, but it doesn't have to be a couple. It could be a woman who doesn't have a partner. Obviously, artificial insemination procedures need to be done when the woman is currently ovulating. So why is an artificial insemination procedure performed? It may be due to unexplained infertility despite the best of workups. Retrograde ejaculation when the man actually uh, ejaculates backwards instead of through the urethra. So in that case, sperm are collected, washed, and used for insemination. It may be that a man's sperm is either absent, low in quantity, or poor in quality. In this case, the fertility specialist may recommend that you try an intracytoplasmic sperm injection. It could be there's a problem with the woman's cervix, maybe from prior surgery that prevents the sperm from actually traveling through it. Uh, in that case, some artificial insemination can avoid the cervix altogether. And it might be that a woman does not have a male partner, therefore needs to have a donor. So timing of artificial insemination involves blood and urine tests so that the fertility specialist can check hormone levels for ovulation. Three to six cycles of insemination are typically tried before the prospective parent should move on to another form of assisted reproductive technology. So there are four types. The most common is intrauterine insemination, IUI. The fertility lab specialists take a semen sample from the male, wash the sperm in the lab to separate it from the semen. Then the high quality sperm is placed into the uterus using a small catheter. Okay, so the next type is intravaginal insemination. This is actually self-insemination. Uh, it's done in the privacy of the couple's own home. A woman can use a syringe. Uh, the semen sample can be inserted into the vaginal canal up near the cervix. It's not nearly as effective as IUI, but it's much lower cost. The next type is intracervical insemination. This is a lower cost procedure where the semen sample is placed into the woman's cervix. It's painless and non-invasive and increases the chances of a natural pregnancy. It may be all that's necessary depending on what the workup shows regarding the sperm. Intratubal insemination, this involves placement of the sperm higher up, either into the fallopian tube or at the entrance to the tube. Okay, The ultrasound technology is used to guide the catheter so the sperm can be placed exactly where it needs to go. The pregnancy or success rates for artificial insemination are 10 to 15 percent per menstrual cycle using ICI and 15 to 20 percent per cycle for IUI. In IUI, about 60 to 70 percent have achieved pregnancy after six cycles. All right. Now, factors that can affect success rates include, you know, the older age of the woman, the success rates tend to decrease. Uh, if there's poor egg quality or sperm quality, severe endome endometriosis may make it difficult for um, the resulting embryo to uh, attach to the wall. Could be severe damage to the fallopian tubes from a chronic infection or blockage of the fallopian tubes, in which case IUI will usually not work in this case. If it is not successful, then a woman can just move on to a different type of assisted reproductive technology. The U.S. Fertility Network offers top fertility centers nationwide, all of which are members of the American Society of Reproductive Medicine, have board certified specialists and offer a 15% discount on treatment when you go through the network. Visit us at usfertilitynetwork.com and then call us at 877-977-2959. Your little miracle starts here.